All right, welcome back to the Star Trek Rewatch. Uh, we'll do our plot synopsis here for this next episode, Mud's Women, out of the uh, Star Trek Compendium by Alan Asherman. <clears throat> so this one was the fourth episode in production order. But obviously they aired out of order, okay? So this was, the writer on this one was uh, Stephen Candell. The story was by Gene Roddenberry. The director was Harvey Hart composer Fred Steiner and the photographic effects for this episode were done by the Westheimer com company um, it was filmed in early and middle June of 1966 so Harry Mudd with his cargo cargo <laughs> of three beautiful women is beamed aboard the Enterprise just as his ship is destroyed in an asteroid field in rescuing Mud and his women, the Enterprise burns out its reserved lithium crystals. So we're not calling them dilithium crystals yet. They're still being referred to as lithium crystals. Uh, the starship limps to a mining planet to replenish the crystals. Mud, against whom Kirk has filed criminal charges, makes advanced contact with the miners. He promises his women to the lonely and rich miners in exchange for his freedom. Kirk must cope with mud and induce the miners to furnish the needed crystals before the ship's power is exhausted. So there's a part in this that's uh, there's called the Venus drug, which makes the women appear more beautiful than they already are. Um, that's not in the synopsis here, which is kind of a weird element added in, but I don't know. This is purely a 1960s episode. It almost feels like it could have been an episode uh, for like um, Bonanza or Rawhide or one of those other westerns, you know, kind of like the mail order bride type thing. Lonely miners. I mean, these could be lonely settlers getting mail order brides. It's that type of thing. So, I mean, you if you had this being like um, some guy trying to marry off women to rich oil barons. I mean, that's essentially, it's like a Western episode. They just throw in like the drug element to add something to it. I don't know. But anyways, our guest star here, Harry Mudd, is Roger C. Carmel. Um, I really like the Harry Mudd character. He does come back for one more episode in the series. And I think the guy is really funny. Uh, I like his own green persona and presence um he actually appeared in an episode of the 1966 batman television series as a character named colonel gum in an episode of batman that was entitled a piece of the action that episode is kind of memorable because it was the one with the green hornet and kato so bruce lee was in that episode um, along with Roger C. Carmel. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. All right, our female actors, we have Susan Denberg who played Magda. She was uh, a monster in the British film Frankenstein Created Women shortly after she had appeared as a centerfold playmate of the month in Playboy magazine. We've got Karen Steele in this as a uh, veteran of, let's see, what does she appear in? Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Um, who is our other female actor? I'm not seeing her name. Hold on one second. Jerry, Jerry Finnerman used a soft focus lens on the women in this episode. It kind of became like the standard for all the women guest stars from here on out, uh, for instance, like pay attention to it. When you see the female guest stars on the show, they usually have like a soft focus lens. I'm trying to find the third female actor here. All right, I'm going to the Star Trek encyclopedia to try to find the three third actress's name. Um, there are a few entries in here. If you want to see uh, Harry Mudd right there, there's Harry Mudd. 
but uh, I'm not seeing anything for the three women, so hold on one second. All right, well, I'm having no luck. So I only know the two women's name of uh, Magda and Eve. I don't know the third woman. I forgot it, but um, yeah, that was no help. So if you know it, let me know below. Sorry I couldn't find it for you. I should have prepared better, but uh, this episode, it's okay. It's kind of a comedic episode. Not my favorite episode of the show, but still very watchable. I had a good time watching it. Um, it's kind of, I think, a little bit dated. But uh, overall, still had a good time. It was enjoyable. Uh, Roger C. Carmel is great. I, I think Harry Mudd is a really funny character. We'll see him again in I Mud. He'll come back for one more episode. But, um, yeah, I don't know. When the women first beam aboard the Enterprise and they're doing all their poses, uh, Scotty and McCoy just glaring at them with the male gaze is a little bit over the top. I mean, <laughs> DeForest Kelly standing there, you know, bones, uh, just kind of leering at the women. Like, it's kind of creepy. And it happens again later. The part where they're putting Harry Mudd and reading him all his charges. The ship's computer, you know, voiced by Majel Barrett, uh, says that they all have like elevated perspiration rates and they're breathing and their heartbeat, you know, their pulse is elevated. So it's, it's pretty funny. All right. I really don't have a whole lot else to say about this one. I, I don't think it's great by any stretch of the means. It's probably out of all the episodes we've watched thus far, Probably the weakest episode, but maybe one of the more entertaining. I don't know. What it makes up for in lack of substance, it has an entertainment value. Does that make sense? Um, it's one of the things I like about Star Trek is that it kind of... They don't have like a super serious episode every week. Sometimes it can just be silly. So this show really does have kind of like a wide variety of... Uh, tone you know to offer it's not like super serious life and death all the time sometimes it's just silly stuff like this so anyways that's it that's all i got to say about it thanks for watching have a wonderful day